This is a second garage in my home. It's an extra garage and I've been using it the wrong way. There's a lot of space here. Before I go any further, I would love to recommend to you guys to watch to the end of this video because that's where I'll be showing you guys my office space. I do a lot of DIY and I would love to store the wood, mirrors, craft supplies and every other items that I use for my work neatly and not shattered all over the place like this. This is a disaster. I was always looking for one excuse or the other so I sat down and tried to see how I can change this. To have a little wood cutting area, a craft room and a she cave all in this space. So the first thing that I did was to take everything out and sealed all of the openings, treated the space and then made the back side for the wood. I did this by mounting a pipe with a drop cloth over the garage rail. This corner here is where I'm going to have my pegboard. There will be a video down below on how I used the same pegboards in the apartment that I used to live in before. Now when I was done with the pegboards, I decided to just paint the garage. I didn't think I wanted to at first, but to give it a different look, it would be good to paint it and give it a fresh and crisp look that will go with the overall theme. Shelves can also be mounted on the pegboard. Now moving on to the floor. This is a cool gadget that I've had for a while now and I'll leave the link for this down in the description box below. I made sure I mopped and scrubbed my floors with this and then when I was done, I installed a peel and stick vinyl and that will be by the sides and then I'll use peel and stick floor tiles for the middle. For the other walls, I'm going to be using wallpaper and paint. I got this wallpaper from a random wallpaper store that I found not too far from my home but I got just a roll and this is where it stopped. So the remaining part of the wall is going to be covered with purple and I got the purple paint from Home Depot. I used this shade of purple because it complements the little purple details that's on the wallpaper. For the shelves, I'll be using wood that will be covered with contact paper. On the wallpaper section, I'll be using white IKEA shelves. The shelves here will be used to display decor items. I'll be decorating the top part of the wall of the craft section with this large IKEA frame. IKEA sells the roll with the hardware for you to go home and do it yourself. 
Now beneath this design on the pegboard, I added canvases with inspirational words. I'll be using this huge storage that I got from Home Depot for my mirrors and boards. I'm gonna add contact paper by the sides and then use an old room divider that I've had for a while for the doors. I'll be using some cute glass knobs that I got from Home Goods here. I love my she cave to have a mini bar section, so I will be making one that looks similar to what I've been seeing in pictures. Now these are all large sized bar sections, so I'm gonna make mine in such a way that it would fit a little corner that I have in mind in my she cave. I'm going to be making mine against the wall with wood and an old headboard that I had made about four years ago that would be perfect in the middle of this table. I follow the lines here as my guide before attaching it to the wood. Above the bar section, I'm going to be covering it with 3D wall panels. And above this wall paneling is a shelf that I had already installed earlier. The bar table at the bottom, I covered the sides with mirrors and at the top with mirror mosaic tiles. The top of the table was covered with marble contact paper. I added plug-in lighting that uses a remote to the floating shelf. For a relaxed sitting, I'm gonna be needing a sitting area. So this is what I had before and I did change it and I have a video for this and the link will be down below. So I decided to change it again. Well, not the entire thing, just the fabric. I changed the fabric so that it would go with the she cave theme. When I was done with that, I got a table that I've had at home for a while and I spray painted the bottom part and then the top of the table was covered with faux mirrors. These look similar to mirrors, but they're not exactly as sharp, but then it would do for this because after I have this around the table, I'm gonna have to trim the edges. So I had to use something that was easy for me to cut after I have installed it on the table. I wasn't sure what color of rug I would need for this space. So I just went with different types, tested them out. And because I wasn't sure which one to use, I'm just gonna be changing them from time to time. Now for storage, I got this large dresser on sale for $300. This is something that goes for about 650 or 700 and I got it for 300. I'm gonna add another storage, but a stylish storage, and it's this fur bench here. And the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below as well. 
I also added cute nesting boxes that I got from Hobby Lobby and they were all on sale. I'll be adding these to the craft section in such a way that it will be easily accessible to me. I'll add full greenery to the room to visually bring life into the space. Now to the other wall with the pegboard, I have storage there as well. Now these are things that I need when working on a DIY that should be easy for me to grab and use. I have my glue gun here because I was working on a project. Now I connected the glue gun and the lighting to this tower here. And it also has a USB port and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I connected everything to a source you will never believe. You know the garage rails that lifts up when you're about to go into the garage? That is where I attach the lighting. And then the source of power is the power outlet for the garage door. I connected them all and it uses a remote to make it easy for me to turn the lights on and off. The storage beneath the craft table is something I've done before on my channel and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. At this corner too is something I had done a while back and the link for that is going to be down in the description box below as well. I used shoe boxes to make this and it is right beside the bar table. If you are interested in any of the items here, the link for most of them are going to be down in the description box below. These are all bar stools that I've had for the longest time ever, and I will be covering them up with fur pillow covers to make it flow with the rest of the look in the she cave. floating shelf in the bar section has cute wine glasses in display boxes that won't be used but I think they look cute there. I have a DIY cornice that I made on my video a while back and the link for that video is going to be down in the description box below. I added more plates to make it look longer. And then I added dark purple curtains to the window. I added more simple items to the space to make it flow with the overall decor. I love DIY, but then I also love flowers. And a she cave should be a place that screams out what you love most. And I love flowers. I would have just one here, but I decided to put three and then more all over the place. I got a huge score, guys. I found this in a thrift store and look at the amount it was going for. And can you guess where this originally came from? Z Gallery. And it was going for about $20, but I got it from the thrift store for about $6. I got two of them and these will be in the bar cart. I've had my she cave ready for over a month now and from time to time I always like to switch up the decor so you might see a little bit of changes every now and then in this video. And the cool thing about this she cave is that I have incorporated my craft room into this so that when friends come over, I can sit and have a chit chat with them and also be at the bar section even and have a drink with them. I really love what I just did right here, guys, because this way I have my friends around and when I'm discussing with them, I don't have to be on a loud tone 
because they're right here with me in my craft room slash she cave. There is another interesting item I have here for storage and it's the wardrobe that I made that I told you guys I will be using for storage in my craft room. And the full link for this video is going to be down in the description box below. This is what the space used to look like before, in case you forgot. And this is what it looks like now. Over and over, seeing the before and after is such a remarkable difference. And I'm so glad that I worked on the space. And guys, for those of you who don't know already, there's a new feature on YouTube called Super Thanks and mine has just come on. And I'm going to be repeating this in some of my videos for those of you who have not known about this feature just yet. And it's quite easy. All you need to do is look below any of my videos, both old and new, to this section right here. And you will see the Thanks button right there. You just click on it and then you choose any amount you would love to support my channel with. Now, the cool thing about this is that everyone here would see your generous contribution towards the growth of my channel. This contribution can be made as often as you like, and this token from you guys will go a long way for me on this platform. May God bless you all, and I appreciate you in advance for looking out for me. I forgot to show you guys that the storage that I have in my contact paper is a wine rack. And I also forgot to mention that the nesting boxes at the top here were gotten from Ross stores. I know a lot of you will be wondering why I didn't use this space for an office slash craft room instead, but I do have a space that's going to be an office space that's connected to the garage that's now a she cave. I haven't worked on my office space just yet, but when I'm done with it, I'm going to share it with you guys. This took me a few weeks to finish only because I had to do this and do my DIY videos that I usually would upload twice a week for you guys. But then I'm just glad that finally it's done and I love the way it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.